We are live here at Maggie Mays for Spiderwood's opening party for It's in the Blood, and here I have Carrie O'Glenn. Hello. Oh, Quinn. Oh, Quinn. I knew that. Close enough. Same thing. My name's my been head. mangled my whole life. It's okay. But tell me a little bit about your Fangoria, the only magazine that you still have out. Well, uh, I started a publishing company in New York years ago, and uh, we published one magazine and then another and another. We started with Starlog, a science fiction magazine which was the voice of science fiction for 35 years, um, dealing with Star Trek and Star Wars and all the wonderful world of science fiction. Then we started Fangoria, a horror magazine, which is still alive and infecting the world today. We started a, cin a Cinemagic, which was a filmmaking magazine. Robert Rodriguez entered my Cinemagic set short film search years ago with a, a film that did not win. <laughs> But I wrote him a note at the bottom of a judging sheet that said, you didn't win anything this year, but I think you have promise as a filmmaker, and if you keep working real hard, someday you can make movies. And Robert told me that meant more to him than winning a trophy. We did a magazine called Comic Scene, which was about comics and superheroes. We did a magazine called Future Life, which was about science and technology and space, the real world. We did a magazine called Gore Zone, which was kind of Eli Roth horror, and uh, a whole bunch of magazines, crazy stuff. I know you have a new feature that you're partly going to be filming at Spiderwood. Can you tell us yes. a little bit about that and when you're going to get started on that? Well, uh, it is a Fangoria horror film, uh, but it's out of my demented mind, <laughs> and it brings two worlds that I have been very intimately associated with over the years together. Uh, worlds that don't normally uh, socialize in the same room. The world of Ayn Rand, uh, author of The Fountainhead and Atlas Shrugged and Anthem, and the world of Fangoria and Horror and Zombies on Motorcycles. So these are all coming together in a little movie that is set in a little small town in East Texas mm -hmm. where some teenagers have just graduated high school they're kind of suffocating with all the small town mentality of bum stuck Texas. Mm -hmm. They're dying to get out and see the bigger world. And uh, there's a crisis afoot and, and there's zombies that come back out of the lake, come back to life and terrorize the town because of stuff that was done to them years ago. And uh, so it's a little bit of revenge and it's a little bit of a game between what's real and what's not real. It's my first feature to write and produce. I've, I produced a lot of commercials and documentaries and short films and magazines and television shows and all this kind of stuff, but I've never done a feature film. So this is my first one and I, I'm so excited. It's like, you know, I'm back in high school and doing eight millimeter movies again. What are you looking forward to most about doing your first feature? Working here in the Austin area, because this is where I was born and raised. And although I've met some wonderful people in Hollywood, by and large, the attitude in that city is not my heart and not soul. Your cup of tea. No, it's a little plastic and a little phony for me. But you come back to Austin and you meet people that, I mean, my assistant was here all week and he said, Carrie, are these people messing with us? They're so nice. They're so helpful. Everything you say, they say, what can we do for you? And I said, no, Pearson, they really mean it. If we come here and work, these folks will do anything for us that they can. And that's why I want to come back here and work on productions. And you said you're from Austin and we're yes. here at the Austin Film Festival. Yes. What have you enjoyed most so far? Actually just meeting people. We've had a lot of meetings. We met with Robert Rodriguez and, and the folks at Troublemaker Studios yesterday. We spent a whole day with the Spiderwood Studios people and went out to Smithville and met everybody there. We had great meetings with the Texas Film Commission, Austin Studios, uh, all my Austin film friends, and we've met with them and told them about the project, and they're all just like incredibly enthusiastic. We did the same thing a few weeks ago when we went up north in California to Lucasfilm, spent a day at Lucasfilm, another day at Skywalker Ranch, and I know all the folks up there, the president of the company is my best friend, and so I've got Industrial Light and Magic on board to do the visual effects. I've got Skywalker Sound on board to do the sound design for our show. 
And I said, I want, to, I want the best people in the business involved in this little horror movie, but I'm going to produce the whole movie for $1.98. So you got to really give me a friendship <laughs> price. And they all said, fine, we want to work with you. This is the first of what we know will be films that you'll go on and do. And so I'm doing what Robert Rodriguez did years ago here, which is form a family that, you know, becomes your team that you do one movie after another and that you really enjoy spending your days with. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by and talking with me. It's I look forward to seeing you whenever you come back to Texas for, at Spiderwood. Can't wait. Can't wait. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Enjoy the rest you of your bet. night. Thank, thank you. you.